vlog i feel like i haven't done this in so long because the last vlog i did was to move here and i've been here for like two months now but whatever um so today i am getting a facial at face facial bar in hollywood and i'm taking you along with me me and kelly are going to spend the day in hollywood kind of just exploring and doing this facial so i am going to get ready for the day and for this facial and then my facial is at 1 and it's currently 10.25. So I'm just going to take you along my day with me. Okay, so I just took a shower. Obviously, I did not wash my hair because um, I'm going to curl it. And so it's better if I just don't wash it. Um, so I don't know if you can see, but I like my skin's been breaking out a lot recently. So I'm really, really, really excited about this facial because I'm really hoping it's going to like knock some of that out or like speed up the process for a lot of them. Um, I don't, I think it might just be like the stress of moving or like, I don't know, but the stress of like getting into school after not being, um, in school for so long or I don't know. I don't know. I've been breaking out a lot recently and it just continues to get worse so you can't you really can't see it here but I promise like if I were to take like an up close camera you could see everything um and I have like a lot of under the skin things too so I'm hoping that that will help that um I'm gonna curl my hair like I said I'm vlogging this hey oh, shit. oh god <laughs> um okay I'm not wearing makeup because I'm getting a facial, so why would I wear makeup? But I'm gonna bring makeup because me and Kelly are gonna take pictures. Okay, bye. So this is the fit. I'm bringing a huge bag so that I can store a lot of stuff in it just in case we like get thirsty or run out of battery or anything like that. I'm ordering my lift pretty soon and then we are going to get a facial and I brought makeup so I could be prepared. Okay. And here's Kelly. Shower my Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, we're in the lift. Look at the view. Hello. Holy fuck earrings. Your earrings? Yeah. Show them your earrings. So she looks like Elizabeth right now. We were talking about how we can make that TikTok where it's like the two different best friends or whatever and then it's like girl put your record on and then it's just it's like and i whisper in your ear yeah that one <laughs> anyways vibes <laughs> I really like the hair mask going on too. <laughs> Give me very lunch lady esque. <laughs> Did Elizabeth tell you she used to wear a hair mask? Hair no. Hair mask. Really? <laughs> yeah. Try to make this look as pretty as possible. Okay. <laughs> okay, hey guys. <laughs> I feel so awkward, but I just got the facial. She's gonna let me know like everything that like she did on my face afterwards, like in a little bit because she um, has a client, but she had so many cool face masks and they were all like trendy ones that you see on like Instagram when you're looking at like facials and stuff. And then they gave me two products that I'm gonna review. It's 
a balancing act. Look at this. It's huge. And this sea spot gel mask that I'm supposed to like, it's like a spot treatment to so like when I get like blemishes and stuff to put it on that. Um, so it was super fun. She was so nice. That was, <laughs> it was a really good time. Um, now we're gonna get food either at the place that we're sitting at right now or somewhere else. Uh, Kelly is getting plane tickets because she's going to Georgia for fall break. And um, then we're gonna walk around and find some thrift stores. There was this cool like half off store um, that has some like cool graphic tees, but we're starving so we're gonna eat then first and then kind of walk around. I wanna go to the um, like Walk of Fame like with all the Hollywood stars, but I don't know how far away it is. Hi, okay, so we went to this vegan place. It's called My Vegan. Gold edition. <laughs> it's really good, like it seems really good though. Like, Oh, it's gonna be fire. Got, no, it's gonna be so good. Um, it's like a decent price. Um, but dude, we were walking for like 20 minutes because we could not find a place to eat. And we were like, this is why people in LA are so skinny because there's just nowhere to eat. Like. But where we are, it's like only restaurants, I feel like. But here, there's like nothing. So, that's fun. Guys, my face still feels so good. It's probably been like an hour since the facial. Oh my god, it's so soft. I feel like a baby's butt. I wish you guys could feel my skin right now. <laughs> and then we walked by this huge Goodwill, and then this and other- And going. And we're gonna go, and then this other, what was the place called? This other like touristy thrift shop. And then she oh, told us about one um, more, but crossroads. I don't- Crossroads. Yeah, Crossroads. But I don't wanna walk all the way back there. I mean, we can, but it's like kinda- of All the way back where? To the other place that she said. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think we're just gonna go to those two places and then maybe call it a day. I was hoping that we could go to the Walk of Fame, but it's like a 45 minute walk and- oh, shit. <laughs> so hey. <laughs> So after that last clip, we didn't end up going to Goodwill because it started to get like cold for California and we weren't really like prepared for it. And so when we were walking to Crossroads, like we were freezing. So we never ended up going to Goodwill. And then we found some cute things at Crossroads, but no one ended up getting anything. Um, but that's how that day ended. I'm gonna walk you through what happened when, with my facial. Um, so after my facial, they sent me a whole list of everything that they did. So I'm just gonna be reading that. It was about a 45 to an hour long facial and before we got started my facialist like analyzed my skin and to figure out what like what was going on with it and she noticed that there was a lot of acne and inflammation on my forehead so that's what we mostly worked on so she did the Cairo jelly mask which is recommended for all skins but works best for dehydrated skin rosacea and then acne prone skin and I have acne prone skin it helps to soothe inflammation which is what I had going on it hydrates your skin and it helps to like promote skin healing so that's good because when you have acne sometimes you can get acne scars and it helps to promote that healing my facial also included a facial steam that was super relaxing but it seemed my face as she put on this enzyme exfoliation mask which helps to deep clean the skin but beyond that it was just incredibly relaxing after the Cairo jelly mask my facialist used an antioxidant mask um, and a pumpkin peel to help combat breakouts, reduce redness, and help brighten my skin. The pumpkin mask smelled really good. Uh, she finished with a moisturizer and sunscreen. Specifically for my skin, she used their Balancing Act moisturizer because it's great for people who have combination skin like me. She also did extractions to get rid of some, some of the current blemishes and gave me the best neck, shoulder, and arm massage ever. I literally left there feeling so relaxed. A few days after, my skin broke out more, which tends to happen during a facial because like the facial is used to make your skin, like make everything come up um, from your skin so that then you can like start the healing process and like the getting better process. Um, so it got worse before it got better, which is of course what tends to happen. And then I noticed that it like all of my terrible, terrible, terrible acne spots went away. 
and I didn't have to deal with them anymore, which was great because they were really hurting and like my face was red all over the place and acne all over the place and then it started to cool down and I could like heal. And now you'll notice that I don't really have that many acne spots. Um, I mean, it's normal to get acne and like I'm, I'm always someone who has like at least one or two pimples or whatever here and there, but it really helped to get rid of majority of it and helped to like start the healing process and then i got two products i got their balancing act cleanser the cleanser is made specifically for combination skin this cleanser is made with high percentages of various organic botanical ingredients that will ultimately purify my skin from acne causing bacteria it will also improve any scarring and eliminate hyperpigmentation without stripping the skin and then the second product is the sea spot mask um, it is a gel mask great for spot treatment this mask kills bacteria and heals blemishes while detoxifying, cooling, and soothing the skin. The synergistic blend of organic and effective ingredients will keep my skin clean and clear. Each and every one of their products are organic, vegan, cruelty-free, non-toxic, and eco-friendly, which is always something that I look for in a brand. And all that information was just read off of my blog, so go check that out. Um, it's a whole blog on my entire experience, which was a great experience, um, at www.alexify.com, and I'll just leave the link down below. Uh, I definitely suggest going to Face Facial Bar. It was a super great experience, and it really helped out my skin. The people were literally the nicest there, and I really appreciated everything that they did for me and my skin. Also, just to clarify, my the person who was doing my facial had both a face mask and a face shield on. I obviously could not wear a face mask because I was getting a facial they take their precautions.